Anthony, thanks so much for having us down and uh, looking at the Doncaster Academy. Uh, set up for two years, or this is only the first season when you've actually played competitive rugby. How in such a short space of time have you brought success to the club, highlighted by the, the final you're just about to play? Um, yeah, it's really it's our first season, or halfway through our first season. So last year was more of an uh, introductory, if you like. Um, uh, the local college, Doncaster College and Uni, uh, they're looking to form a centre of sports excellence and they've chosen rugby union as one of the sports. And uh, So basically working the unique chance of working alongside a fully pro team such as the Knights here, um, I've given basically local lads a chance of full-time rugby alongside their full-time education. And uh, for me, when you're 17, 18 years old and, and to 22 years old, that's your key years of development. And to have your key years of development doing full-time rugby and full-time uh, nutrition and full-time training and full-time coaching, and obviously that's given you the best chance to fulfill your potential rugby-wise. So I guess that hopefully is why we're um, we're winning and, and we are where we are. Where we are. And uh, the transition in these lads over, especially this season, that what, six months into the season, seven months into the season, it's phenomenal. You know, it's just crazy. And it's obviously something that I have a huge passion about. Why did the club want to set up the academy in the first place and, and have a relationship with the college? Why was it important? Um, the thing is at Doncaster, again, we're, we're a real unique club. We've got a massive mini and junior section. It's you know, really well run. Uh, we had a club called Doncaster Phoenix, which we now work alongside with, and I actually coach them as well. Um, but before I arrived, they, they were sort of playing in the lower Yorkshire leagues, if you like, and they were you know, very much an amateur club. And you got the Knights, and there was this sort of massive void when kids left Colts. Uh, you know, very rarely you're going to get someone leaving club Colts and, and being able to play championship rugby. So we had the void along the way, and right now we've got all three parties working together. And I'm, you know, pretty unique because I work for all three parties. And, um, you know, we've now created this, or well, hopefully filling in the void of, of getting rugby for all, all standards of rugby, whether I can hopefully uh, create a full-time night and beyond nights as well, uh, you know, sort of uh, National League rugby with Doncaster Phoenix and, and just also a place for the local lads that want to stay around and, and play social rugby and have a beer with their mates, you know, they're, they're just as important too. So we're, we're truly working on a very, very unique rugby for all, where I think it's the only one I know of, where a club that can provide fully pro championship rugby, national league rugby, social rugby and kids rugby for all ages. So what is the experience the players get within the academy and how does it work between actually obviously playing rugby and the education side? So we, we look to get a balance. Uh, we use rugby core values you know, rugby, I think, is a unique sport where we can get the best out of our, our young men. And we, I firmly believe they grow as men on and off the field. We set really high uh, uh, levels in, in, with regards to standards, uh, both around the rugby club and obviously on the pitch, but also around the college campus and everything. So, you know, I'm, I'm growing them as men uh, and we they reap the rewards from that, you know. And uh, like I said, you... you the short-term benefits have been so evident to see, and not even I could have probably foreseen. You know, we've got one guy now who's already played for the Knights in the British and Irish Cup. We've got, uh, I think, the total is nine boys now that have trained with the Knights. You know, they're just like they're like this. They go, wow, you know, it's unbelievable. We're in a fully pro setup. You know, we're doing this, we're doing that. Uh, not only that, we're getting guys down from the Knights in specific coaching in, in certain areas. You know, Richard List helps out with the scrums. We've got. Ben Hunter's outside now with the hookers, helping their throws. Mike Heaney, Sam Edgley, helping out the nines. And then uh, Tyson Lewis helps me out full time, you know. And, and so, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful mix and it's it's just a shame we didn't start earlier, really. How important is it to have that mix now, to have the first team players actually engaged with the academy and vice versa? Oh, huge, huge. I mean, you know, again, it's something unique that, you know, only we can sort of provide here. I think the players enjoy it. I mean, by that, I mean the Knights players. I think they really like it. Uh, I know for a fact uh, my boys enjoy it. They just love it. One, they get a new voice instead of me whinging at them all the time with my Kiwi accent, you know. But uh, no, they, they, they enjoy getting someone that they, they can only usually watch on a Saturday or something. And now all of a sudden he's taking genuine interest in them. Um, I forgot to mention Dougie Flockhart's helping them out with their strength and conditioning. So they're all on programs. So they're, they're basically living the life of a full time pro rugby player. And they've also got me making sure that. They're, that they're putting as much, if not more, effort into their studies because we've all got to have something to fall back on. So, you know, that's a real healthy mix to have that, like I said, has not been around 
for years. And, and it's a great way, not just to keep Doncaster boys at the club, but just for all local talent to come and join in to obviously get your education and to fulfill your potential as a rugby player and grow as a person. So obviously looking at me, I'm obviously only 18 years old still. Yeah. What, what are you laughing at? <laughs> so no, for a real 18 yeah, I'm sure year old. I'm sure you played against me many years ago. <laughs> for people that aren't pretending to only be still 18 years old or, or younger, how how do they get identified to be involved in the academy? How do they get in, have a chance to be in the next couple of years maybe in the, in the academy? How do you find your time? Yeah, good question because it's, it's, it is hard uh, when it comes to recruiting. Um, I must admit, I mean, you know, we're, 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 no matter how much we push it, bear in mind we're very young, it, we're still a little bit of a secret amongst, amongst people probably out with of the, of the Doncaster Club. But no, 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 it's everybody's welcome. Um, I, we are focusing more on the sports science, sports coaching, sports therapy type uh, education-wise, obviously, and also some of the boys do accounting and uh, economics and business studies. But, you know, it, it, your rugby talent, you need to fulfill it. You don't want to get to our age and basically say, what if, you know, what, what oh, I always sort of tell your kids, oh, I was a pretty good player. If only I'd done this, if only I'd done this. We don't believe in that here. You know, we, we believe in, in giving everything and with some, if I can say it, some pretty good coaching and some care about you as an individual, um, you know, you, world's your oyster. You've touched on it already, but if you are a young man that comes into this setup, you work hard, you prove yourself, you develop into a, a quality player. How realistic is it, though, that you are going to go and play for the first team at championship level? How realistic is the pathway? Well, we've got one, as I mentioned before, Alex Keaton's played uh, in the British and Irish Cup already. Um, the I always monitor the boys before they go and train with Clive, so basically the last thing I want to do is disrupt Clive's session, of course. Um, the feedback I've got from Clive and Kendo uh, has been very, very positive with regards to the boys entering into their... Uh, not just their trainings, but their position-specific trainings. So the transition's happening. Uh, James Wright, a winger, he went away with the Knights to Jersey. Um, young Sam Jones, I think, will be a Knight. So I've got a little bit of a mini target. It's just my own personal goal here, but, but I want in the next sort of two, maybe three years, I want at least three Knights out of the academy, full-time Knights. Um, and to me, I'll be wrapped because probably when I first sat down, I wouldn't have thought I would have got one within five years, yet we've got one within six months. So it's happening. Uh, and it's up to me to monitor it, and it's also up to me to make sure they become better, better players through the whole experience, you know, so. And really, what would be your message to anybody watching this or finding details on the website and thinking, oh, well, is that for me or, or not? Is the academy, is this route for me? What would be your message to them? I'll be totally honest. If you love rugby, this is a no-brainer. This is a no-brainer because we look after you. Um, but if you just like rugby and rugby is just a bit of a hobby, then you probably this is not right for you because, like I said, it's a big commitment. It's, it's easy to say, well, I'm in the academy and I'm doing this and this and I'm, I'm doing full-time rugby, but that's a lot easier said than done. And so, you know, the boys, we work them very, very hard. We have a bit of downtime, and we, we, but we earn our enjoyment, if that makes sense. And, and now the boys work hard, and, and I think all our boys across the board, right from, if I can say, my so-called, because not from my, my mouth, my so-called average players to my, my county level players and above, they have all improved. And they're all seeing the benefits of, of full-time rugby at such a key age, as I said before.